So as Ida moves north, officials here in Maryland keeping a close eye on those areas prone to flooding. How are they preparing? Rachel. Well, we're here at City Dock in Annapolis, Denise. We know this area is prone to flooding, so I want to show you some of the things the city has done to prepare. They installed these sump pumps down in the storm drains. Now, people think that storms push the water onto the roads from the shoreline, but actually it's water coming up the bay, getting pushed into the drainage system. So here, the, obviously, businesses are hoping Ida doesn't cause any problems, but if it does, they're ready. Dock Street Dogs has been in the same spot for 12 years. So for more than a decade, they've dealt with flooding. When we first opened um, 12 years ago, it was like panic mode, but you sort of figure it out down here on Dock Street. It's a regular occurrence. Hurricanes, tropical storms, even nuisance flooding has filled this room with water. Once the sidewalk is gone, that's pretty much it for the day. Uh, it comes into the buildings. We can get ankle deep, mid shin. Uh, I've had it knee deep in here before. With the remnants of Ida expected to hit Maryland over the next few days, businesses along Dock Street and Ego Alley are beginning to prepare. So is Ellicott City as they post parking restrictions in low lying areas around Main Street and Maryland Avenue. Annapolis Mayor Gavin Buckley says they're paying close attention to the storm. We know that the forecast has been downgraded, but there still is the threat of flooding. But because that threat is always real for this area, the city took action years ago by installing these. I guess it's been a couple of years now. The city uh, put in uh, some sump pumps into the parking lot out here, and that's helped tremendously. Take a box, any box. 71. You're all set right there, brother. The Maryland Emergency Management Agency says flash flooding is possible, and western, central, and northern Maryland could see six inches of rain or more. Which might also cause down trees. The grounds are already saturated, so we are concerned about power outages that may be possible. So it's important that everyone charge all of your devices ahead of the storm. Back here live now in Annapolis, the Office of Emergency Management says for residents who have functional or access needs, if you need help before or after the storm, depending on what we actually see here in Annapolis, you can reach out to them on their website or by calling 410-216-9167. We're live at City Dock in Annapolis. I'm Rachel Cardin for WJZ.